Hello everyone, it's Ruby again. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I do my self-introduction lesson. So here are the materials that I use. Um, pictures printed on A4 size paper. Authentic local items from your country. I am from the Philippines, so I bring Philippine money and the uh, arnis. <laughs> um, arnis is the national sport of the Philippines, and uh, it's it's mar it's a martial arts sport, and we use two sticks like this. Nowadays, most school in Japan have access to computers and projectors so i prepare a powerpoint presentation um, it's much easier for me to use and of course uh cheaper <laughs> because i do not need to print uh, colored pictures at the convenience store so in this video i'm going to show you my PowerPoint presentation that I use on my self-introduction lesson. Let's go! If you don't have access on computers and you cannot use projectors, so just imagine that this is the blackboard at school and the pictures that are popping up are the pictures printed on an A4 size paper or bigger because bigger is better <laughs> anyway let's start teacher mode let's go hello everyone how are you okay i am your new alt hmm what's my name hmm Hmm. Oh, Sensei, Mr. Suzuki. Hello, Mr. Suzuki. Nice to meet you. How about me? What's my name? Hmm. Please look. I will give you hints. Hint one. Oh, ooh. What is that? Hmm. Hint two. Oh, wow, yummy. What's that? Do you know? Yes. All right. This is a necklace. Diamonds? <gasps> Ruby, yes. Ruby necklace. How about this one? Uh-huh. Yes, it's chocolate. Pink chocolate. Oh, this is new chocolate. Do you know? That's right. It's Ruby. Ruby chocolate. <gasps> okay. Ruby. Hello. My name is Ruby. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I think the children will remember your name more <laughs> if uh, you will give them hints or pictures that reminds them of your name, okay? Uh, I will give you some examples like this one. Ooh, who is this? Harry. Okay, everyone knows who harry is okay so let's say your name is harry then you can show a picture of harry potter hello everyone my name is harry <laughs> not harry potter but uh, harry <laughs> okay or like this one it's a picture of a nose i know it's funny <laughs> let's say your name is hannah in japanese nose is hana <laughs> oh, what's this? That's right, it's Hana. <laughs> it's nose. 
Hannah, hello, my name is Hannah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> All right. So anyway, that's just a tip. It works for me. Please try it too. I think it's fun and memorable. Uh, it could be uh, pictures of famous people or anything that has the same sound of your name. Moving on. All right. Now, let's move on to introducing my country. Now. My country. What is my country? Hmm. Mr. Suzuki is from Japan. Everyone is from Japan. How about Ruby? I will give you a hint. Please watch. What's this? Hmm. Do you know? What flag is this? That's right. It's America. It's USA. Okay. Am I from America? Hmm. Let's see. How about this one? Hmm. What flag is this? China? Oh, nice try, but no. Malaysia? Nice try, but no. It's Vietnam. Okay, can you say that? Vietnam. Good job. Hmm, am I from Vietnam? Let's see. Look. Ooh, what country is that? Indonesia? Nice try, but no. I'll give you a hint. Banana. <laughs> That's right. It's Philippines. The Philippines. Okay, how about this one? Oh, do you know? Yes, that's correct. It's China. Okay, can you say Japan, USA, Vietnam, Philippines, China? All right, please guess where am I from? Please, hands up. Who says I'm from Japan? Hands up. Oh, I see. How about America? Hands up. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> okay. So you get it. You get it. Okay. Now, my country is... Ta -da! The Philippines. Okay, that's correct. I am from the Philippines. Kamusta? Okay. Kamusta is hello in the Philippines, by the way. So, this is how I introduce my country. Uh, I give them choices and make them guess where am I from. Um, as you noticed, I didn't give the answer right away, but I ask the student, what country do you think are those flags? I think it is important to listen to the students and make them think and also by doing it, um, you're kind of like gauging, you know, the level of English of the students. Don't feed the answers to the students. Give the students a chance to think and show you what they are capable of. And also, please give a lot of praises. And uh, if they give a wrong answer, don't say, No, that's wrong, right away, okay? Just say, Oh, nice try, but it's not the answer. <laughs> Moving on. So, teacher mode. Yes, I am from the Philippines. Kamusta? Japan versus Philippines. Look, what's this? 
sushi. That's correct. In Japan, you have sushi. In the Philippines, we have danan adobo. <laughs> Can you say that? Adobo. Nice Tagalog. <laughs> um, adobo is a famous Filipino food. Okay, great. Ta da! Ooh, what's that? Yes, sakura. Do you know sakura in English? Good job! It's cherry blossom. Very good. You are very smart. <laughs> okay. In Japan, you have cherry blossoms. In the Philippines, we have. Da! Do you know this flower? Hmm. What do you think? Oh, I'll give you a hint. It smells good. And sometimes it's tea. Do you know? Okay, jasmine. It's a jasmine flower. Do you know jasmine tea? Yes, yes. Jasmine tea is good and smells nice. <laughs> All right. So this is Philippine flower. Hmm. In Tagalog, we say sampagita. Can you try? Sampagita. Ooh, nice Tagalog. <laughs> wow, money. In Japan, you have yen. In the Philippines, we have Peso. <laughs> All right, Philippine pesos. Okay. In Japan, you have Japanese monkey. Nihon saru. <laughs> Japanese monkey. In the Philippines, we also have a monkey. Look. Ooh, yes, that's a monkey. <laughs> it's a Philippine monkey. It's called Tarsier. Can you say that? Tarsier. Nice. Tarsier is a monkey. A very small monkey. It's very cute. In this part of the lesson, I compare Japan and the Philippines. Um, I introduce them um, the famous stuff that you can find in the Philippines. And also, by comparing it to what they have in Japan, they will have uh, an idea of what I am talking about. You know, if, if the students I'm teaching have a very low level of English and if I talk English, even though it's easy, continuously, they might get lost. They might not, you know, they might get confused. So I think if uh, I give them a, a visual representation of what I am talking about, um, they will hopefully understand and remember it next part all right guys it's question time mm, yummy what food do you like mm. what food do i like what do you think but first, let's ask Mr. Suzuki. Mr. Suzuki, what food do you like? I like hamburger. <laughs> oh, you like hamburger? Nice. 
How about me? What food do I like? Everyone, please ask Ruby. What food do you like? One, two. What food do you like? Good. I like ramen. I like karaage. That's right. Do you like karaage too? Nice. What is karaage in English? Do you know? Very good. It's fried chicken. Karaage is fried chicken. Next. All right. What sport do you like? Hmm. Mr. Suzuki, what sport do you like? Oh, you like soccer? Nice. How about Ruby? What sport do I like? Hmm. Please guess. What's this? Tennis. That's right. But I don't like tennis. <laughs> What's this? Wow. That's right. It's judo. Do you like judo? Yes. Nice. Ruby. Sorry, no, I don't like judo. Now ask me, what sport do you like? What sport do you like? Ta da! I like arnis. <laughs> arnis is a Philippine sport. It's a martial art. We use two bamboo sticks like this. All right. So at this time, I show them、um, the real arnis that I have, and I show them some moves on how to use、um, the arnis. <laughs> I also. Uh, pass the arnis around, so they will have a chance to use it too. I think bringing authentic items from your country will make your self introduction lesson memorable. It would be better if you will talk to the Japanese teacher before the class the questions that you might ask him or her, so that. The teacher will be prepared, and he、uh, he or she will be confident in answering those questions. Some Japanese teachers do not speak English well, so if you put them on the spot, that is not a good scenario. <laughs> and also, talking to the Japanese teacher before the class about whatever lesson. That you're going to have,、um, it's a good way to build a good relationship with them. All right. So, do you have other questions for Ruby? Please hands up. Don't be shy. Come on. All right. So after、uh, giving them a model question like, "What food do you like?" And what sports do you like?、Um, at this part of the lesson,、uh, they are free to ask me any questions. The common problem is elementary level students or even junior high school students.、Um, their English is limited,、um, and they are very shy to make mistakes, like everyone.、Um, so at this part, even though it's not. Advisable, and I don't recommend it, but I do it anyway. <laughs>、um, I let the students ask me in Japanese. Sorry, go me nasai. So,、um, because I I understand Japanese, I've been living in Japan for a very long time. I don't speak 
perfectly, but uh, I understand it and I can answer um, simple Japanese phrases. Uh, but in the class, um, I tell the students to please ask me a question, Japanese, okay, and Suzuki Sensei, the JTE, uh, will help us translate your question into English. Okay. When the student asks a question in Japanese, the Japanese teacher will translate it in English and the students will have to repeat the English version of his or her question. Okay? Like for example, uh, Nihon, suki desu ka? And then the Japanese teacher will translate it in English. Oh, do you like Japan? And the students will say that again in English. Do you like Japan? And I, I always answer in English. So I would say, no, I don't. I don't like Japan. And then they will be shocked. What? <laughs> because I love Japan very much. <laughs> Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's long because of my explanation, but I hope it's useful for you. So I hope you will try it. And please comment down below, uh, how do you do your self-introduction lesson? I am excited to read them and also, I want to learn from you. Thank you very much.